What a Wild Spirit Brings by Lil, Chapter 29. What? Echoes don't matter, Tick. She's a Andre and she'd be carrying a royal book. Elise, the child crop stole it. We don't know till she's better, do we? I won't be letting the child die till we know. Lil moaned. The two elderly women came scuttling to her bed. One looked like the other. Their hair, their faces, even their wrinkles, they were completely identical. How you feeling, child? asked one. Where'd you steal that book? Tick, chided the one who'd spoken first. Then she looked back to Lil. I be Elise. That be me sister Tick. We be, she be me opposite in temperament. Our ma always did say. You bear her no mind, ye? She be mostly bark and I'll bite, she said with a laugh. Tick snorted. Thank, thank you for saving me. Please, did you save the book? Yeah, child, it be wrinkled from the water and the letters be a wee bit smeared, but it could have been worse. Please, I must see it. Her portrait must be all right. It must be. Tick grabbed the book from the table and tossed it at her. Elise shook her head at her sister, but Lil didn't care. She pulled it open, half terrified that her mother's face would be lost forever. The picture was faded, but the details were still true. She didn't need bright colors. She just needed her mother. Lil cried she was so glad. That book be about royals, child. Where you did get it? Tick asked again with less gruffness. I, I took it from a library. No one was mad, though. No one called me a thief. Ye bientha, Tick asked, roughness returning. Yes, Lil stated, proudly staring the woman in the face. Enough for now, sister. The girl must be stirred. Tick immediately brightened up. She hurried to another room. Lil couldn't believe the transformation. She'll be a fine cook and is right proud of it. She loves her cooking. You'll remember that, eh? Yo, yes. Tick came back with a huge tray. It had short ribs and an odd purple cabbage on it. Lil looked for a knife, but the two women started tearing into the food with nothing but fingers and teeth. Light it was barbaric, but she joined in, for she was, indeed, starved. Tick really was an excellent cook, and Lil was completely honest with every compliment she told the old woman through the meat in her teeth. Tick would blush and say she was glad the girl was enjoying it. When it came to food, the woman was a saint. Dessert was brought in, and it was a strange cone made of baked grains tinted with honey. Inside the cone was whipped cream. Lil had never had such a delightful dessert, and she told the women so. Both seemed happy. For dinner, at least, she wasn't a strange entha, and possible thief. For dinner, she was a guest. After dinner, once the platter was cleared and they had rinsed off with some fuzzy cloths and warm water in a pail, the twin sisters sat down on the bed, one on either side of Lil. One started flipping through the book, almost idly. The other started tucking Lil in. She didn't know which was which again. I had never seen tweens, twins before. Well, now you can say you have, one said. Lil tried again to get one of them to speak in a way that would let her know which was which. How long have I been here? Few days. Why were they doing this? Why didn't they want her to know which was which? Was it a test? Your face be Andre. Yes, I was born here. Hey, ye Entha, then? Uh, by choice. My mother chose to be an Entha, and the Entha accepted her as one of them. Same thing for me. Ye want to be an Entha? Finally, the one who had tucked her in was Tick. The way she had said it, so shocked and disgruntled, gave her away. And Elise and she both knew it, for both frowned. Lil grinned at them. Nice trick having the temperamental one tuck her in tenderly. Yes, the Entha are a people of honor. I know that the war just ended. I know it lasted four years. I know and don't care. The Entha were in the right. Rutford was a monster, and I'm glad he's dead. He deserved worse. The two studied her for a little while. Then they gave her back her book and rose. She didn't know if they were going to get the local magistrate or not. But when they came back, they had put on their nightgowns and bedcaps. One's a maroon, and the other's a deep violet. Time for resting, child. In the morn ye be on your way, for we decided you're not bad folk. Where be ye beheaded? Yet em. Both look surprised. Why? asked Tick. I know some people there. Who? We lived in Yetem for some odd fifty years or so before my jasp moved on. Light a loom his soul, Elise said. Lil saw no way around it. She had no desire to get Tamrock and Mina in trouble, but hopefully the women meant what they meant it when they said they had decided she was a good person. Tamrock and Mina. Shock returned to their faces. Tammy? Really? 
Both started shaking their heads, and then one started chuckling, and the other joined her. Tammy? Tammy be our grand boy, child. Be me daughter. And Dick never had no marriage, so she always shared my babes into raisin. He just had him a boy. Our first great grand boy. We was looking for some excuse to go see him. So you'll take me? Hi, child. Light, the girl could be anyone, but I'd be glad she dropped in. Same Dick. Lil wanted to laugh. These old women were her brother's great-grandmothers. What luck! They told her to rest and went to rest themselves. Lil shut her eyes and hurried to the wilder. Trixian must be worried again.